Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you six easy Dollar Tree beach items turned into some beautiful coastal neutral decor. If that's the kind of stuff you like to see, be sure to give me a thumbs up today. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. Okay, I got these two fish at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the jute on the sides of it. And then just, I'm going to discard it because I'm not going to put it back. Then I'm taking two two inch by two inch wooden blocks that I got at Lowe's. I'm going to mark the very center of them. And then I'm just going to drill a hole in them. And I'm going to go back down probably about an inch into this hole. Just line it up right in the center and go down about an inch. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just stick my sticks all the way down in there. Okay, next I'm just going to line my fish up and right where it curves up going towards the back, that's where you need to drill your hole. I tried to drill it right in the very center and then I had a balance issue so I'm going to have to fill that back up. So right where that starts to curve up is where you're going to drill your hole. And just make sure if you're using two of them, you mark them in the same place because this is the only way that you're going to get to balance. Then I'm just going to take some white cottage white um, chalk paint and I'm going to paint right down the center of it. And then I'm going to take some um, French linen and I'm going to paint the outside edges of it. And then I'm going to paint all the way around the whole thing with that same linen paint and the back as well. Okay, next I'm just going to go ahead and take my bases and I'm going to paint them white. And I'm going to paint my sticks white as well. Next I'm going to take some fishing net that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to cut enough just to cover up half of the front of the fish. Just kind of cut it even so that it is straight across. And then we're going to go ahead and glue it down. And then we're going to go back over it with some jute to cover up all those edges. Just kind of wrap it around there. And just glue each little piece at the top. Just kind of straighten it out so that it is pretty even. And then do the same thing with the bottom part. Just kind of line it out and get those two pieces um, glued in. And then you can just wrap the rest of it around and... and glue that back in the back. Just kind of kind of randomly spot um, glue just to get it on there and then I'm going to come back with a staple gun and I'm going to staple them. Okay, next to trim out the edges, I'm just going to use some jute and I'm just going to wrap it around. And I'm just going to wrap it around a couple of times here and then I'm going to do the same thing at the top part. Just kind of covers it up and gives it a nice clean edge. Okay, next I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to my little stick. And then I'm going to wrap some jute around the base. Now on my second one that I did, I made my stick a little bit shorter. I shortened it probably at least two inches because I wanted them to kind of be at different levels because I was going to put them together. So just wrap it around there and then you're just going to glue that in. And this turned out super cute. It was real easy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, next I'm taking one of the little buoys from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut all the parts off of it. And I'm not going to save any of them. And I'm going to take some sandpaper and I'm just going to sand the letters down. Now, you don't have to get them completely down, but just enough. Then I'm going to go ahead and paint it with some white chalk paint. And this took me about four coats to get this completely sealed in. One of these I'm going to make a buoy out of and one of these I'm going to make a flower pot out of. Now I'm going to have to drill my hole a little bit bigger in this one because I'm going to add a jute string at the top. So I'm taking a quarter inch drill bit to open that up. Next I'm going to take the flower pot one. I'm going to come up from the bottom and I'm going to mark it at two inches all the way around. Just little spot um, dots on it. And then I'm going to take a string to wrap it around to make sure it is straight so I can paint my lines. Now I was going to use the blue painter's tape, but I just could not get a complete straight line all the way around. But this worked good. I'm sorry I got out of the video a little bit there. But I'm just going around it and tying it in a knot. And then you can make sure it gets right on top of those lines and it, and it is straight. Then I'm just going to take some French linen chalk paint and I'm just going to paint right at the bottom. Now you can just go right around that line. It's not going to bleed through if you just take your time. Just go right up to that line and just kind of go slow a little bit and then you can get that filled in pretty good. Okay, 
And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut my string off at this point and I'm just going to paint the rest of it going downwards. Okay, next on the one that's going to be the buoy, I'm coming from the open end up two inches and I'm going to do exactly the same thing with my string. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and seal both of them with Mod Podge because these are very porous and I'm going to add my, um, I'm going to add some letters to it here in a little bit and I just wanted to make sure it's completely sealed in. Now I go ahead and took my Cricut and I cut out number 24 with my Cricut and I'm going to put this on both, both of these two, the base and the, the buoy. And I'm just putting the both of them where the 24 is down on the tan end so that when they're side by side that they will be um, both the tan sides down. Okay, next I'm taking about an um, 8 inch piece of jute and I'm just going to run the, I'm going to fold it in half and run the um, blunt end through here. Just kind of pull it on through there and then we're going to tie it off here at the top in just a second and then I'm going to show you how I'm holding it in place with a popsicle stick. Now I'm just going to take a popsicle stick, cut the end of it off and then I'm going to put it inside of my um, vase, I mean inside of my buoy and just put it right through that loop and then pull it down. Okay, next I'm just going to take some jute and I'm just going to wrap it around the top part of the vase two times. Just kind of get in the back where you start and then just go around it twice. And I'm kind of starting down a little bit below the lip because I want it to go all the way to the top when I get done. And you could do it the opposite way. You could start it at the lip and then go down. This was just a little bit easier for me to see to make sure I was getting it straight. And then I'm just going to take some greenery that I got at Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to put it right down into the middle of my vase. I'm not even going to use these stuff. I'm just going to stick it in there. I think these turned out so cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So I'm going to take one of the starfish from Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove all the jute off of it. Then I'm going to take some oven baked clay, white oven baked clay, and I got this at Michael's. And I am going to roll it out thin and I'm going to cover the entire starfish. And I'm not worried about getting it so perfect because I am going to come back in here and texture it here a little bit with a toothpick. Just make sure that you get it completely covered. Then I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm just going to go ahead and start poking holes all into it. So it's texture it pretty heavily. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it on a baking sheet so I can still hold that one arm of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and texture that one as well. And then I'm going to bake it at 250 degrees. And I'm going to bake this for about 35 minutes. Next I'm going to take some French linen paint, chalk paint, and I'm just going to paint the entire thing. Then I'm going to come back in with some white chalk paint and I'm just going to add some little texture lines on it just to kind of give it a little bit of depth. Then I'm going to take my drill bit and I'm going to start with a small drill bit at first just to go through the bottom because I am going to attach a quarter inch dowel stick on here to stand it up. And then I'm going to come back in with a bigger drill bit and um, drill the same hole. Just kind of take your time on this. You don't want to drill the biggest drill bit first. You want to kind of go with a little drill bit and then a bigger drill bit. And just go in there, you know, far enough to go ahead and get your dowel stick put in there. I probably went in there about a half an inch. And then go ahead and put your dowel stick in there and then I'm taking the same 2x2 two two cube I used earlier and I'm going to drill a hole right down the center of it as well. And I'm going to go down probably about an inch on this one. Next I'm going to take these little sticks that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put them around the base and I'm going to have, I'm going to cut some short and cut some long. This is going to be kind of like a pier and that's going to look like driftwood and I'm just going to go ahead and glue them on all the way around. But you want to alternate with the short and the tall. It just makes it look a little bit more natural. And then just keep going until you have it completely sealed in. Now right here, look on top. The hole that I drilled to put my stick in is missing. I actually put it on the side by accident. And I'm going to figure that out here in a minute. And I'm just using my little miter cutter to cut my sticks. 
because I had and then I had to go back in and redrill the hole in the center and that's where I figured it out I was like what and I had to drill it out so next I'm going to take my jute and I'm just going to go all the way around the base of it just kind of get as close to the bottom as you can and then I'm going to put it around the center as well And I'm just going to spot glue at each corner on this one. Okay, next I'm just going to take a little bit of the E6000 glue and the hot glue just to go ahead and attach this to my dowel stick. Okay, then I'm going to take a little bit of that um, fishing net again like I used earlier and I'm just going to wrap it around one arm of this starfish. And I'm just going to glue right down the bottom the two sides together. And then I'm going to come in with some little um, seashells and I'm just going to randomly put those on the face of the, of the net. You can put however many you want. I think I put maybe three or four of them. I really liked how neutral this one turned out. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm just going to take these two jars from Dollar Tree and remove all the hardware. Then I'm going to take them outside and I'm going to spray them with the Krylon Satin Bright White Paint. Then I got these little round loops um, on Amazon. They're two inch wooden loops and I'm going to paint those with a dark gray paint. And I ended up using um, two on each one of my little jars. After those dried I just went ahead and put two loops on each one of these. I just went right around the top of the circle there and glued these on. Then I'm going to come in with some jute and I'm going to go three times around where it starts at the bottom of the neck. I'm going to go all the way up three loops till it seals all that in. It kind of just ties it all together. And then I'm just going to take a lighter and kind of go around there just to get all the frayed edges off of there. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to take some tulips, I'm going to cut them short, and I'm going to put five of them in each one of my bases. And I did my other base exactly the same way. All right, those turned out super cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. These are just something you could use year-round. Next, I got these two bottles at Dollar Tree. I'm going to just remove the jute and the little pendants, but I'm going to save the pendant because I am going to reuse them. And then I'm going to paint both of them with a black satin Rust-Oleum paint. Then I'm taking some of this wire ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap it around the base of both of my bottles. Now I'm going to save you some trouble here. This stuff cuts with scissors. I sit there and try to bend it back and forth for a while and finally I figured out hey this stuff cuts with scissors. Just kind of flatten out a little bit and then just go ahead and start molding it around your jar. And then I'm just going to glue the back part of it on with some um, hot glue. But go ahead and get it kind of shaped in there just like the bottle so that it does set flush against the bottle. And then I'm going to wrap the top part of the bottle with some jute. I'm just going to go all the way around and figure out how much I need. I'm going to cut it off and then I'm going to take my lighter and I'm going to get all the frayed edges off of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue my jute on. I'm just going to start at the neck of my bottle and I'm just going to wrap it all the way up until I get right below the lip of the top part. Then I'm going to come in with some smaller jute and I'm going to go ahead and attach my um, little pendants back onto it. My little starfish and my um, sand dollar. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing to the other bottle too. And I'm just going to use these as diffuser bottles and I got this diffuser um, at um, Dollar Tree but I got my sticks at Hobby Lobby because I need them to be a little bit longer for this bottle. Okay there you have it. Let me know in the comments what you think about these. I think that they turned out super cute. This last one I'm just going to take two of the Dollar Tree signs I got during Valentine's and I'm going to remove all the paper and all the little um, embellishments. And then I'm just going to paint this with a white chalk paint. Okay. 
Okay, next I'm just going to go ahead and measure the back. That's the same as what the front is to see what size of a felt I need. And I'm going to put some felt inside both of these. Now, this is a felt that I got at Joann's. You can get it at Hobby Lobby too, but you need to buy it off the bolt. It's a little bit thicker than just the regular acrylic felt squares. And just make it sure it fits in there really well. And then we're just going to mod podge it to the bottom. Okay, next I'm going to take a starfish and a, and a sand dollar from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to paint them with the cottage white chalk paint. Next I took some of that same metal ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue two strips on each side of this frame. And I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue on them because you don't want them to come through and then I'm using that roller to kind of roll them out to make them a little bit more flat. And then I'm just going to add some little dimensional squares to the bottom of them. And I'm going to do two layers so this one would stand up really well. It just didn't set up high enough for me and so I went ahead and put another layer of those on there. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the starfish as well. Okay, and then for the starfish, I'm just cutting them in a little bitty slivers, and I only had to do one layer on this one because it did curve, and it, so it's set up a little bit nicer than the other one. I really like the way that these turned out. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.